So we're going to keep this relatively short because they're under time, but I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to expand your mind a little bit beyond what we've been talking about up to this point in time. So we're going to start with the future of health. There's been some exciting futures awaiting for us, as we've heard over the last two days. These smart cities are focused on developing the next generation of visionary infrastructure, technology, transport, ecology, architecture, law, governance. Everything is going to be seamless, connected to the AI, metaverse. It's going to be amazing. But these visionaries and planners of the future cities also acknowledge that we need better health care, better systems, more patient-focused, easier access, using smart new technologies to improve the outcomes and reduce risk. All these new technologies provide huge potential for early investors on a population scale of creations, making significant impact to human health, well-being, and the future of our potential. At the same time, we're also creating these amazing virtual worlds, the metaverse, esports, and gaming competitions where human beings can interact with one another without even leaving their sofas. Now, as a keen sports person, former Olympic medalist, I've seen firsthand the power of active lifestyles and how they can transform lives and improve mental well being. And I must admit, I'm a little bit nervous about all these new virtual technologies. I don't fully understand the risks or the potential they hold. But what I do see is clearly evident that in the world today, our general state of health is in decline. With more sedentary populations than ever, increasing the negative impacts by chronic diseases. And I ask you the question, will this trend in digital technology producing easier, more convenient lifestyles and computerized interactions, will it speed up our de-evolution from human beings to more sedentary populations? As you can see, the largest challenge to humanity's health, both now and in the future, is quite possibly completely reversible chronic lifestyle diseases, silently developing for years under the surface without your knowledge, often only identified as incidental diagnosis when you go to the doctor for a completely unrelated condition. In 2019, the journal Nature highlighted the fact that systemic chronic inflammation within your body can in turn lead to several diseases that collectively represent the leading causes of disability and mortality in the world. Diseases such as cardiovascular disease, cancers, diabetes, chronic kidney infections, autoimmune and neurodegenerative disorders. The cost of these conditions to the individual is their health. The cost to businesses and to industry and governments runs into the billions. Now, unless you just want to accept this, this inevitable decline in human condition, we need to build well, been, uh, capacity been, into the future I've smart the cities to handle these, for the years. degeneration Compared of our health and well-being. We don't want to accept that. The key issue to survive at the core of all of this is the human being and our human health, as Adnan so graciously pointed out earlier. Yes. We are getting sicker and less mobile, more dependent on drugs, and healthcare than ever before. So let's change that. Yes. yes. Let's be the change, implement innovation, and find technologies that can enhance human well being. Let's ensure that the human is at the center of everything we do. Let's not just exist, but thrive. Shape the future generations to be fitter, stronger, healthier and more productive than ever before. The ripples of, all of your health choices right now follow on through generations to come. The future start smart cities need thriving, healthy populations to succeed. We should not just accept 
the continual decline. But it's hard, and we need help. We need to provide easy solutions, long-term preemptive health screening. Biofeedback is critical in closing the loop and helping individuals understand their health and their body. When this biofeedback is easily accessible with simple, actionable data linked to AI and machine learning, connected to your healthcare providers, together we can help prevent illness and these chronic health diseases. And for the metaverse and sports and gaming enthusiasts amongst you, what if I can connect your nervous system in real time to the games and the metaverse you're playing in? So at the very heart of the pro CVT system is your human operating system, the autonomic nervous system. For every breath you take, for every move you make, there's a song in there somewhere. For every heartbeat, your brain is evaluating the internal and the external environment around you. And it's making a calculation as to how much energy it needs, how much resources it needs for the next immediate moment. And we can capture that and quantify it. This term is called vagal tone, cardiac vagal tone. It's a real-time measure of the brainstem activity. It was developed by Dr. Julu in the mid-90s, and it is exclusive to probiometrics. It's the world's first and only capacitive ECG smart sheet. No wires or sticky pads connected to your body. No need to even undress. Pro-CVT can scan your vital signs for early warning signals hidden deep within your autonomic nervous system. And because it's designed to passively measure your physiology while you sleep every night, it'll fast become the world's most accurate, reliable, and scalable measure of sleep quality, which every expert agrees is a fundamental component to a full life full of vitality. So who doesn't want to wake up feeling more revitalized and energized every morning? So there it is, the smart sheet. It's a thin piece of material that is placed directly onto the mattress, under the bed sheet and connected wirelessly to the Internet of Things. It's a patented groundbreaking technology capable of reading high resolution ECG, providing our unique measure of cardiac vagal tone. It can read in real time your heart rate and respiration rate. And it even has a built in temperature sensor to measure body temperature during the night. So it'd be critical for early identification of infection or viral diseases. And together, those four vital signs measured every night for eye of pro CVT can become a weapon in the battle against chronic health conditions. Huh. So one of the early prototypes we have has captured almost a thousand nights of data already. And in doing so, we identified a critical frequency of brainwave activity used to send you to sleep or keep you in deep restorative sleep. This data alone can help transform the lives of millions of people, redefining treatments for insomnia or other sleep disorders. And in just two weeks' time, we are supporting an all-female Mars mission, or the simulation mission, at the NASA facility deep in the Utah desert monitoring changes that scientists, of their scientists rest in physiology during the stressful two-week desert isolation experiment. And because of our unique measure of heart rate and nervous system interaction, we're also working with a company called MediMusic, an NHS-based company, a uh, funded company, who are investigating the pain-reducing effects of music 
both during and post-surgery, aiming to reduce opioid use and anesthesia and prescription medication, making pro-CVT a critical part of future healthcare. So a little bit preemptively, we're focusing in on diabetes here. But just for your information, one in 10 people in the, in the globe already has diabetes. 11.5% of global health expenditure is spent on diabetes, nearly a trillion dollars. And 6.7 million deaths are attributed to diabetes. And this is a global problem, evident everywhere, on the rise everywhere. And unfortunately, in the MENA region, looking to be an 87% increase in diabetes cases in the next 20 years. Quite staggering. But it doesn't have to be this way. Our very own Chief Operating Officer, Keith, an otherwise healthy, fit 50-year-old male, was getting persistently low scores on his CVT readings. We noticed this and identified it as potentially diabetes. He went to visit the doctor, got a formal diagnosis, and it was, in fact, diabetes. Picked up early through our pro-CVT system. Made some, modified some lifestyle changes, and is now completely gone, completely in remission, although Keith does keep a close eye on his scores on a daily basis. So ProBiometrics is working with Christina Brock at the University Hospital in Aalborg in Denmark, pioneering study to understand how nightly fluctuations in blood sugar levels can affect your nervous system, but specifically your cardiac vagal tone. She's already published data demonstrating how CVT can reduce the need for arduous diagnostic tests for autonomic neuropathy, which is a silent killer for almost 50% of diabetics. And if we can just focus very briefly on Dubai's own population. Imagine this scenario. If just 50% of the Emiratis in Dubai take up the pro-CVT system, and if just a quarter of those implement the changes like Keith did, we could, in a very short period of time, be saving over 90 lives a year and up to $50 million a year just in those 12.5% of the local Emirati population. It can have a huge impact here. And just imagine the impact this device can have globally. So the impact can be real, almost immediate, and it can be rolled out globally. Remember, it's not just limited to diabetes, though. The vital sign tracking capabilities can assist in the complete wraparound care, both pre- and post-hospital visits, freeing up hospital beds faster, and providing confidence in your healthcare. Each night, ProCVT gathers thousands of data points, which will enable future research and medical insights, putting anyone who uses it at the forefront of medical developments and technology. But the real future is in our hands now. We can create smart cities now using this device. We can create smarter, healthier citizens now, but we can't do it alone. We need your support, your collaboration, your investment and your partnerships to achieve this dream. Together we can help optimize the human potential, create the smart cities of the future, and live a healthier, more optimized life. I'm under pressure to finish. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all very much for your time and attention.